What's up, folks? Welcome to the Lecture Fan Stream. It's a backpacking weekend. It's Friday, June first, one a.m. Right now, we're gonna. I'm about to go to bed. I just got packed up here. We're gonna do uh, another take on Silver Lake here, eight and a half miles. We're gonna get going earlier tomorrow than we did last year, and hopefully, we won't take that wrong turn. So we're gonna make it to the lake. But I, I did um, do a checklist here of everything I packed and I think I'll read it to you even though I probably got a couple more things so I got the Osprey Xena 75 backpack a tent sleeping bag sleeping pad pair one pair of pants three pairs of socks one pair of underwear two long shirts one t-shirt one microfiber towel toothbrush and toothpaste rain protector for my backpack medical kit a rain jacket a coffee mug two backpacker meals Three snicker bars, three energy bars, one toilet paper roll, six wet wipes, two lighters, one gas stove, two gas canisters, a pot, a bear spray, a bear bell, a headlamp, a multi-tool, water pump, French press, bag of coffee, fork, spoon, knife, one wilderness map, one topo map, seven and a half minute, and then one camera, two batteries. And that's what we need and we're going backpacking, baby. All right, folks, it is Friday, June 7th, 1240 p.m. We're all packed up. We got our backpacks packed. We're about to go out on a backpacking trip into the wilderness. What do you think, sugar and tangerines? I'm game. You're game? Awesome. Now, this may be a few extra ounces, but I have to look camera. I have to look good for the camera. That's right. Okay. <laughs> We're ready. Cool. We're off, folks. All right, folks, it's about 47, 48 degrees. It's raining, we're at the fort. We're at the fort, we're gonna get some food, some lunch right before we head up. Here comes the most beautiful woman in the world. Welcome to the fort. All right, folks, we made it. It's a couple minutes after three. We're here at Four Mile Trail. It's about 43 degrees out here. It's not raining or, well, it is raining, but very, very slightly. So, river's high, we're gonna hit the road here. What up, girl? The Sugar and Tangerines Lecture Series. Yep, so I was gonna say, before we're about to get going here, but check it out. Nobody else here. We are the only ones here. So we probably have this entire trail to ourselves again. How cool is that? This is for my pole. I'm gonna get a pole though. A walking stick? Yeah, because I hurt my ankle last year. Yep. Yeah. Right. Sugar and Tangerine just said we're five hours ahead of the last time. It's still light out to see this. Yeah. That's pretty cool you send the next to right there. I like it. What up folks? We are up here in this beautiful meadow. First meadow you hit. Um, we already passed Meat, Meat Rack Trail. Came up on another Y, took the left there. Now we're here. We've been hiking, I don't know, maybe not even an hour. And um, already sweaty, hot, breathing hard. Feels good though. You can see the cloud line right up there. It's almost, you can touch it. Big huge boulders out in this meadow are badass. Sugar and tangerines, of course, whooping me here. Oh, nice. First little down here bit in a long time. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's so wet and green. Love June and spring slash early summer up here. Beautiful. All right, I'm, I'm on um, video mode right now. I'm gonna switch this thing to auto and record video, see if it notice any difference between now and the next one. Okay, this is auto now. Let me know if you see any difference. Oh, we did pass by like eight horses and eight guys on horses. Well, six guys, two women. But there was one guy that was clearly in charge. It looked like kind of a guided tourist dude ranch type thing, but looked like fun. Cranking along on a horse on these trails. Seriously? Cool, let's see. Here, 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 here. Oh yeah. Here, over there, it's so down. It walked across the street. That one right there is for sure. Yeah. It looks like right there. Yep. Yeah. And there's a deer and a bear. And horses. So yeah. They've passed. Where did you say the other bear one was over here? Yeah, he went this way, but this could be like a back foot slipping. I think he went from that way. Oh, okay. Holy cow. Yeah. 
so pretty. Cool. Is that a bear paw, like the long part, like the foot part? Oh, that could be, yeah. I think it is. This is quite interesting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> cool. cool. How are you enjoying this? Good. You're, you're killing it. Yeah. We're making good time. How long have we been hiking? Oh, we have. I'm gonna go this way. Holy cow, this is a mess. All right, folks, it's been raining on us, but we've been hiking hard for, I think, two and a half, three hours. Um, and I think we have made it to the junction, which is where we made it to last night on Saturday night, but we actually did it on Friday night. Holy cow, the, it's so much. Yeah, we went mermaiding down there. Now it's like completely. So much more water. That's awesome. Wow, so we made it to the same spot we were on a Saturday night, but we made it on Friday night and it's 5.20. Yeah. Wow, great timing, good, good work. <laughs> <laughs> Here's where we're camping. It's dry up here. Check it out, folks, just like that. We got the bag there, sugar and tangerines there, check it out. We got the tent set up, baby. Super stoked about it. I think it's on about as level ground as we can get it. There's my bag and stuff. It's still raining out here, it's raining, but we got this, so we're gonna be okay. All right guys, it's 10.30 a.m. Haven't done anything all night because of this. Oh, it's completely foggy. There's like a foot of snow on the ground out here. Shoot, the lens is still foggy and wet, but you can kind of see what's going on here, folks. Basically, we got there to our spot last night at like 5.30, 6, started to rain. Got the tent set up. Got everything in the tent, dove into the tent. Um, only left one time um, to go pump some water. Otherwise, we stayed in there until about 10 a.m. this morning. We woke up, and there was this much snow everywhere which is absolutely insane. Pretty cool to be out here in the snow and it's it's cold but not too cold. It's 40 degrees probably. It was definitely cold overnight, probably down to 25 or 30 potentially. I think it was more like 36. I mean, it's really not cold. This is a pretty wet snow. Really wet snow, really wet snow. <laughs> But I feel like last night it was probably about 20 degrees colder than it is right now. No, it really wasn't that cold last night. You don't think? No, I was not. I was comfortable in my sleeping bag. But I noticed that you were sleeping towards the edges of the tent. And I put my sleeping bag at the head of the tent for insulation. And that kept me warm. Yeah, I think we, yeah, we were sleeping a little bit different. I put it towards the middle too so I could be close to you and not towards the edge. Right, and then I was up against the edge. Right. I told you to move over. But... I wasn't like uncomfortably cold, but I was cold. I mean, we we were both in 20 degree sleeping bags, but the 20 degrees 
is what you can survive at, not what you'll be comfortable, comfortable at. That's good. That's awesome. I was I had wool socks. I had a sleeping bag. I had a hat on. Oh, that's a great picture right there. Oh! Catch. Wow, this, this looks completely different, covered in snow. You're awesome, babe, for doing this. Thank you. And not com I'm like, I'm so I know, and not you're not complaining, and you're talking about <laughs> the positive sides of it. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Not everybody can enjoy this. No, not everybody would. But this I is pretty cool, it. I think. <laughs> but that's because I love Montana, and I love outside, and I love well, and it's cool that we got to experience something for the first time together. Yeah, something we wanted to do, but never really was obvious. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you do this on purpose. Some people do, yeah. You yeah. can do it on purpose, yeah. <laughs> It'd be different to go in the winter because you wouldn't be wet. But I also like taking a chance and being like, well, then you'd have ice and other things that would be dangerous, so. Yeah. I don't think I do it now. But, um, I'm only, like, I'm not very risky. Like, I'm willing to do it if I have to, but I'm not willing to take it. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's just lots of things that are beautiful about this. I agree. We won't remember being cold. Uh-uh. Like some people won't even come backpacking if they think it's gonna be a little chilly or if it's gonna rain. It's like, there could be a snowstorm coming and we're like, we got this. <laughs> then it happened, we're like, it's all right. We have a kid though. <laughs> right. We're all disappointed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, be interesting if we had like minus 20 degree sleeping bags and like snow boots. Like, no, if we had the right stuff, we'd probably keep going. I mean, I would keep going. I just can't be wet. Oh, I know. That's why I said, like, if it had just snowed without raining, that'd be a different thing, too. I'm just, like, I'm look at me. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting how much movement there is in the forest from the snow. Yeah, a lot more than yesterday. Because even that elk didn't make a lot of movement or noise. Uh-uh. Now it's like every time I look up, there's like snow falling off yeah. trees and stuff. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Ouch. That actually hurt. No, it didn't. <laughs> it totally feels like you're getting attacked, yeah. <laughs> Remember, I saw the trees have lives. <laughs> yeah. Right. Today, the trees are jokes. Totally. And at night they're walking home. They don't, they're not used to humans being in here this time. And so they're having fun. Yeah, they're like, look at these. We can get away with this today. <laughs> 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 Don't think this is <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because there's like all kinds of different adventure shows on TV. And they involve a lot of different kinds of pairing. So like some of them have, you have to be food daring, and I'm not food daring. And some of them you have to be like travel daring, and I'm travel daring, so I'm not height daring. Yeah. Daring. <laughs> so it's like, you have to be all kinds. Right. Yeah, The like the food stuff I could never do, like eating. I could not eat an ostrich egg. I could not eat a larva. <laughs> They're eating like a live tarantula or? Because I know, I mean, I grew up in the jungle. I know, <laughs> I can eat something else. And I don't know how that's gonna make me feel. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that, it's like. It's like sap, I think. Dripping from it? Yeah, yesterday these were really wet, so I think it's just kind of pink. Oh yeah. Or fungi, or something. 
The cool thing is, is if we if there's tracks, we'll be able to see the tracks really well. Yeah. Well, we could yesterday too, but much. Yeah, we could. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so different from the Amazon jungle. He'd probably be freaking out about the snow and the cold. I don't know. Because he's not he's used to it. I mean, oh, he would be. He's been in Massachusetts. Oh, by the way, he like added me on Facebook and he like sent me a wave back. Yeah. But like I asked him for his PayPal information and he didn't send me anything. Oh. Can you pay him on Messenger? Oh, maybe. I'll send him another message, but I would think he would remember. I mean, especially when it's a picture of me and you together on my right. profile. But not really. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, I mean, he guides a lot of tourists, but. Yeah, that's true. There's a key right after that thing, so they all got paid. They were all headed to the city. Remember they were all dressed up? No, I mean, I know he got paid. Yeah. It's know. just a matter of a tip. He was very professional. Yeah, he was. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Check. <laughs> See, there's more movement from the trees. Check out this. Voices. From our voices, yeah. It's still snowing. I not to like scream if it an avalanche. <laughs> right. <laughs> I wanted to get the camera out to show you guys this meadow because I like these mountain meadows like this. We've been hiking for, I don't know, 45 minutes and we already made it down to the meadow. We were talking about how we thought based on yesterday is that, you know, it might rain a little bit through the night, but it'd stop by morning and then once we saw it snowing it was like okay it might snow for a little bit and stop literally now it's like 11 a.m and it's still snowing which is pretty crazy but it's absolutely gorgeous out here we both are just having the time of our lives and it's romantic being in the woods when it's snowing like this just you and the woman you love doesn't really get any better than this look at that meadow nice little cairn here to Point the way. Oh, and then up here, this is so cool. This little path right here where the trees protect the trail. Right after you come out of this meadow. This is cool. Check this out. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That'd be a beautiful picture. So quiet out here, so quiet.
Okay, so we're here in Big Timber. We got done. We hiked out. Um, we didn't get a ton of video on the way out because I ran out of battery, but we ran into some people from Pennsylvania, talked to them, and then I did get to fly that drone. Hope you guys enjoyed that drone flight. I thought it was really cool to see the, the um, snow line, and there's a very clear snow line. Um, and there was like two snow lines, one sort of like where there was some snow, but then another snow line where like the trees were actually covered. And we, and we were camping in above the snow line, the second snow line. So now we're here at Frosty Freeze in Big Timber. Yeah, getting some hot coffee, first coffee of the day, because we were two chicken to get out and make stuff in the morning. It was cold, it was colder than I want to admit, so I'm not going to admit how cold it was. Yeah, oh that was one thing, when we got to, the, okay, so when we got to the truck, it was 1.30 p.m. And it was 35 degrees right there. It felt nice and warm. And it, and it was nice and warm. So, so therefore, overnight, I think it got to, to about 20 to 25 degrees. I'm just not willing to admit it. <laughs> so we were literally camping in like 20, 25 maybe 28 degree weather. I mean, I think we planned for spring weather. It's yeah, we planned for spring weather. Spring weather in Montana um, can have a little bit of yeah. relax. Yep. So. I think if we had had different supplies, we could have made it, but it just wasn't practical yeah. for what we were But we were still like, even when we got back, we were high-fiving, we were so happy. Yeah, we, we, the, the walk out in the snow was great. Yeah. Um, it, was it was such was really a crazy experience. Yeah, and it was cool to cross the streams and there's snow in the ground. And totally. It was just fun to like, in the snow. It reminded me of winter, it was nice. Cool. How's that, how's that coffee I'm treating you? Done. Can you <laughs> feel it? Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. That's it. That's probably the end of the vlog. Not the end of the vlog because you got to get on the good food that's going to taste amazing.